Hey guys, John Mancheta here and today we have the Lenovo Vibe K5. So this one was just announced earlier today so it must be weeks after you watch it or days. Anyway, uh, this is the Vibe K5 and this is the most affordable of the Vibe K5 series. There's the Vibe K5 here and then we have the Vibe K5 Plus which is uh, which has the better specifications but of course it is more expensive and then we have the bigger and uh, better the K5 Note so what's up with the um, K5 just the K5 this is the 5K5 this is the most affordable of them all at 6999 so this one has a uh, Snapdragon 415 octa core processor it only has a 5 inch HD display uh, and then there's a 2 gigs of RAM 16 gigs of uh, internal storage and of course that's expandable via micro SD by up to 32 gigs and then we have a 13 megapixel rear camera uh, a 5 megapixel front camera and then a 2750 milliamps of battery so uh, there's a dual sim also and um, there's Dolby Atmos uh, dual, enabled dual speakers. That's why this one is really interesting. This is probably made for you know uh, people who love to uh, consume media like uh, iFlix, watching iFlix, watching movies, and uh, watching my YouTube videos, right? My YouTube videos. Anyway, um, um, this one also comes with a screen film inside. So uh, unlike the K5 Plus and the K, well, the K5 Plus looks very similar to this one but this one doesn't have support for the VR thingy something like that and doesn't come with a VR headset and a VR controller which is which they call as the other max controller so uh, again this one is 6999 and uh, let's take a closer look on this one let's unbox this one and let's take a closer look to know more about the Lenovo by K5 Okay guys, so we have here the Lenovo Vibe K5. So it's the newest smartphone from Lenovo and it's really really affordable. And actually it's not really that affordable but it's affordable, most affordable among the K5 series. So this one is priced at $6999 and it comes with a free screen protector. And uh, let's unbox this one. So as you can see, we have here the Lenovo Vibe K5. So I'm going to turn this one on first. Uh, I'm not sure if there's battery already. No, I guess there's. Uh, we don't have still. Have, we still don't have the battery inside. But as you can see, we have the Snapdragon Octa Core processor, a Dolby Atmos enabled dual speakers, and a premium aluminum casing. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that later. So um, this one already comes with a screen protector, so you don't have to buy one anymore. And then, uh huh. So we also have. Um, wow, it's a really big battery for. Uh, for this is smartphone not bad I mean yeah so uh, we're gonna uh, place already the uh, battery of this uh, smartphone inside so give me a second as we place the battery so we could already turn this on and uh, we could already discuss on um, the Lenovo 5k5 so uh, let's close this one yeah there we go I guess this one is already closed All right so let's turn this on before we continue to unbox, so as you can see, we have the Lenovo logo here along with the Android. All right, so um, we still have here the charger. So this one is a uh, uh, 1.5 amperes. It has an uh, an input, an output. I'm sorry, of 1.5 amperes. So it's better than most chargers, especially the, the local brands. But it's not uh, the fast charger that uh, I was expecting. All uh, right, so uh, I'm gonna place this one on the side. Then we have here uh, the cable. So uh, let's open this one, and then we have here uh, the micro USB to USB port. There we go. And then uh, still don't. Yeah, I guess that's it. So uh, we have uh, to open up. Oh, sorry. We still have the manual here. We forgot we got the manual. So we got here the authorized center, uh, um, the numbers for the service centers. Um, the manual, uh, basically for the manual, and then the quick start guide and uh, the limited warranty paper. So uh, let's play with this one. So, uh, oops, let's go back. So uh, let's open this one and let's check out what can we expect from the Lenovo 5K5. Oh god, I love to remove the plastic of this one. Okay, so we have here the um, Lenovo 5K5. So uh, this is again, this is the most affordable of the uh, the series, and uh, it doesn't have that VR mode uh, compared to other 
uh, K5 smartphones like the Vibe K5 Plus and the Vibe K5 Note. Uh, but uh, this one shares the same design of the Vibe K5 Plus except that uh, this one has a lesser RAM, uh, lesser resolution when it comes to display and uh, this one has a slower processor. Alright, so inside there's a Snapdragon 415 processor, it's an octa-core processor and it's kind of new but uh, I mean at least it's new and uh, we haven't seen that one before. Inside there's also a 16 gigs of internal storage but uh, let's see how much of storage that can we use from the smartphone. There we go, so we can use 10.52 gigs of storage, not bad. And then uh, we have uh, 2 gigs of RAM, 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash. There we go, so still have to remove that plastic. So, alright, so uh, why am I removing the plastic? Uh, alright, so this is getting annoying, I cannot remove the plastic. There we go, there we go, that's the spirit. All right? yeah, I guess we removed the plastic already. So that's 13 megapixel camera and then the, the front, we got a 5 megapixel front camera. We're gonna talk, uh, check that out later. Actually, we're gonna check that out right now. So uh, we have here um, the box of Lenovo 5K5. So taking a photo of that one. Uh, it's actually faster. It's actually fast to take a shot um, on the front camera. There we go. So as you can see, it's kind of whitish. I mean, it's not really kind of wash out but uh, not really that I expect from a smartphone like this right so as you could see it isn't uh, it isn't the best front camera that you could see on uh, on a smartphone all right so uh, before we proceed to the other um, applications let's talk about first the hardware I mean we still have to talk about the hardware we have LT inside dual SIM as you could see uh, I'm actually surprised that this one has a removable back despite having an aluminum build Yes, this is aluminum despite having a plastic here, but this one is aluminum. It's real solid and it's really aluminum. And I, I appreciate that uh, Lenovo was able to make a smartphone that is really solid with a metal body. So again, this one we have here the uh, uh, dual SIM card slot along with the 2750mAh of battery in here. Uh, for a 5-inch smartphone, that's actually okay. That's pretty good. I mean, that's a pretty good number for a, a battery. So, uh, we still have the LED flash, by the way, and the microphone, I guess, port here. Then at the top, we got the micro USB port, 2.5mm uh, audio jack on the right. We got the uh, power button and the uh, volume button below. There's nothing except for that hole. Uh, the other side, nothing. But uh, again, this one is pretty solid. For a 5-inch smartphone, this one is pretty solid. And then we have here the... Um, the capacitive buttons, this one is the recent, uh, sorry, uh, the settings button, uh, menu button, then the other one is the home button, and the other one is the uh, back button. So compared to most launchers, this one doesn't support an app drawer. This one doesn't have an app drawer. So the home screen is already your app drawer and it already comes with some applications including Team Center uh, in which you could change the themes of uh, the smartphone. So if I wanted to change that to Mirage. Uh, there we go, so I've changed the uh, team and of course you could download some themes and um, actually this kind of launcher is very popular in China, I mean they don't have too much app drawers, look at the MIUI, at the Oppo, at Vivo, they don't have um, app drawers. So we still have the Sync It, but uh, I'm pretty sure we won't use that one. Share it's a pretty useful app if you want to share um, some big files, including videos to other, to other uh, smartphone users which share it and it's cross-platform I believe. Then we have uh, Late Rooms, Lenovo Company. Uh, yeah, Lenovo Company Mobile, so diagnostics, updates, videos, and solutions. Uh, pretty helpful for new users. And then we still have Mac Affi Security, but I don't really um, like that one. I always uninstall that one, so yeah, you could uninstall that one. So we have also have the Dolby Atmos application. <laughs> So one of the biggest application, uh, the biggest feature of the Vive K5 uh, is the Dolby Atmos. So let's play a demo of this one. Let's see if this one is really good. Let's... Okay, so we still have the speaker at the back. All right, so... Okay, actually this one is a pretty good audio. Hey, look at the display. It's actually pretty good. Although it's not, it uh, doesn't have a high refresh rate. But I really like the audio of the Vibe K5. It's really great for uh, watching movies, 
uh, TV show tele serie. It probably I flex if you wanted to. Uh, let's finish this one, I guess. Purple base. There we go. This one is uh, kind of awesome. I mean, the audio is natural and nice to play. Really, it is. So, uh, you can feel uh, how good the smartphone speaker is. And even if you place the smartphone uh, on your table, you could still feel and uh, hear that the speaker of the smartphone is pretty, pretty good. So, uh, you've seen the demo. There we go. So we still have some applications in here, uh, tools. There we go. We still have UC browser, Evernote, uh, navigation, cell broadcast. Uh, what I, I use Google Maps, WeChat, Skype, but you can uninstall those uh, applications if you wanted to. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now for the unboxing, the short hands-on of the Lenovo Vibe K5. So. Um, if you want to know more about it, don't forget to check out my website at jamonline.ph. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, it's time to subscribe. So once again, I'm Jam of jamonline.ph. PH, sorry. And thanks for watching hands-on and unboxing of the Lenovo 5 K5.